Hey, what do you think? Hey, Megan. You said it could be the what? It could be the last hot day. What do you think? Man, I uh, definitely prefer playing in the heat than the cold, but over the years I've definitely got used to it. Yeah. Hey, uh, are you guys on, I mean, coming out of that game against Notre Dame, I was just talking to Michael Hall about it, y'all getting that stop when you needed it to get the ball back for the winning drive and stuff. What has that just done for you guys as a defense, as a group, uh, from an elevation standpoint? I mean, definitely feels good. Uh, Coach Day stress since we came back way back in uh, – in uh, the winter, just about the situations. That's all we've been studying is winning the situation. So I think him making us study that and uh, just knowing what to expect on those situations and, and how important it is to win each one um, is definitely been something we focus on. And to do that uh, it definitely feels good. What is the prime uh, challenge this week with these guys coming in? They like to they like to let it all hang out, so to speak, right? I mean, offensively and stuff. Talia, think of a low as an experienced yeah. quarterback y'all have seen before. Just what stands out about this group and what's the primary challenge this week? Like you said, the quarterback's really good. They do a good job moving the ball around, getting out fast, uh, giving the defense different looks. So I think that's what I, uh, we've been focused on, just making sure we all doing our job, being on the same page, communication, and uh, just making sure we're doing the little things right when it comes to games like this. Well, you think about the biggest Yeah, most definitely. I think with different weeks, uh, discipline's uh, always the main thing, but it always comes in, in different ways and different, depending on the team you play. And like you said, yeah, he does a great job of scrambling, extending plays. So it's definitely um, it's something we can focus on uh, trying to limit that. Nathan, can you take me through that uh, fourth down stop that you and Sonny had against Notre Dame? Like, what did you see on that play? How did that come together from your perspective? I mean, it's just appreciate the coach knows, Coach Eliano, uh, basically giving us the loop before he got it. We literally, in the walkthrough, um, the morning before, talking about, well, if this happens, then this will happen. And uh, luckily, that's the look we got, and we just executed what we were coached. Is that type of play and, and those sort of very physical moments, are they more possible now because you guys are in the second year of this system? I mean, yeah, I think, like uh, I've talked about earlier, just being in the in the system for the second year, we're able to just fly around, more confident what we do, um, all on the same page, all communicating at a high, very high level. And uh, when y'all communicate and flying around a high level, uh, the plays just uh, they come to us. Like, what, what is it like? Put me in your head as that play develops. Is it? Does it feel like deja vu to you because you've seen it in practice, or you've been warned about it in practice? What just goes through your head in a in a half second there I mean, about reacting to something like that? Because Coach Knowles is always talking about you being able to see the forest despite the trees. You know what I mean? It's funny, like Coach they just said, uh, when you're able to watch film and you're able to see these looks and you see them multiple times. Um, it just makes you play faster. It makes you basically, when you're preparing going into the game, you don't do as much thinking when you've already seen it so many times, so you're just reacting yeah. and um, are anticipating before reacting. So when you're able to do that, it just makes you play faster and it looks like, like you already knew what it was coming. Like how quickly did you recognize that play? I mean, we knew the look when they were going to sneak. Uh, like it was going to be a QB sneak and that if Tommy and Steele jumped over and, and stopped it uh, uh, like right on the A-gap, it was going to uh, fall Float, to the C-gap. Yeah. So. We already knew that was happening, so um, just, we just knew it was coming. Thank you. Zero to ten, how physical was that Notre Dame? Oh, very physical. Uh, very physical. I mean, hats off Notre Dame, one of the best atmospheres I've played in. Um, did a great job with the, the noise, the, the lights. The, it was super physical. So, But like we say, uh, competing against the offense since um, camp and since the spring, man, it's, it's been physical here. And that's one thing we've been, we've been priding ourselves on is being physical. So a game like that, I mean, I mean, that game's in the past now. Now we're focusing on, on Maryland. So, but yeah, it was definitely physical. Did, it, did you feel any physical toll of it? How hard hitting it was, and you got 13 tackles in it. Did the off week come at a good time for you? Did you need some time to get, get right again after that, or, or, or not? I mean, yeah, most definitely. It, it, was a, it was an extremely physical game. I mean, I don't think I've been in one game to where I felt great after the game. <laughs> but uh, no, I definitely, uh, it was nice to have that bye week. and. Uh, and gave us a, a more chance to start focus on uh, Maryland and then focus on uh, where we need to get better on ourselves. So I think that came at a perfect time uh, to critique our, our mistakes and on our flaws. Well, you think that team tackles? said that Tommy Eichenberg is like a quarterback of the defense and they're losing more of the time this year than the rest yep. Do you see that? And what kind of quarterback is he for this team? Yeah, Tommy's uh, one of the dudes that, that lives in, in the facility. Super smart. I mean, he's our leader. The whole defense uh, follows and listens to what Tommy has to say, listen to his checks, and uh, Man, we believe in what he does. So, yeah, it, it's nice to have to have a quarterback back there um, giving us calls, giving us checks, and, and helping us know what to expect. Has that changed at all from last year this year? I got one more. I got one more. Uh, yeah, it's definitely changed. Uh, I mean, 
you saw how successful Tommy was last year, so they gave him a, a bigger role, and, and I mean, he's been, he's been killing it, he's been killing it, so it's definitely exciting to see um, how he's succeeding in that position. Lathan, uh, J JT Tui Molawau, all of a sudden he just pops up and makes a couple plays there, you know, in the end. I mean, he's playing hard all night and stuff, but how would you describe him to somebody uh, about what he brings to the table from the standpoint of may maybe being a little special? Just It's tough to be that player every play, right? But uh, describe him to me. Uh, JT is a playmaker. Uh, he's a playmaker in the close games we need to play. Um, don't be surprised when, when he makes that play or, or he comes up with a big stop or, or a big PBU. He's just a, a playmaker and, and has a, yep. a knack to get around the ball. Yeah, why is that, do you think? I mean, you, you talk to him about that? I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I feel like that's, that's something to ask JT, man. <laughs> yeah. By the way, real quick, uh, before the Indiana game, I asked you, how are you going to know whether y'all stopped those big plays or not? You know, and you said, well, if we don't give up any. Yep. You don't know if you remember that or not, but so far y'all have given up no plays over 40 yards, no big touchdowns here. Longest touchdown play is two yards. Are y'all knock on wood getting the job done? I mean, how would you describe it? I mean, like Kobe said, job not finished. Like we got a long yeah. season left. So, I mean, what we did in the four, first four games, yeah, it, it's really good. But I mean, like like y'all seen, we was last year one of the best defenses for a lot of games. Yeah, that don't matter unless we do it the whole season. So that's our mindset. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Oh, okay.